So I want to do a quick video today on how to strip, clean, maintain and reassemble my race gun, a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. So you've been to the range, you've fired it, whatever it might be, pistol, shotgun, rifle, blunderbuss, and it's covered in carbon. I don't clean my weapons at the range, I generally bring them home. So what I would do before leaving is I would field strip whatever firearm it is, and I would use some aerosol cleaning and oiling spray. I mean, you can get it in several different brands. And the reason why this one is taped up at the top is so I can put it in my bag and take it to the range. And obviously the top doesn't fall off and my bag gets uh, covered in oil. Clean it. If you have any particularly bad areas of carbon, I would use a plastic scraper. This is just one that I 3D printed, so it's very inexpensive. So you're not using a sharp metal tool that will scratch the surface of your gun. So you're now at home, your spray's worked in. It, it's not so bad with this firearm because it's mainly polymer. It's not coated apart from the barrel and obviously the scope, but it's good practice to clean on a cleaning mat. So I've got cleaning mat here. I've got nice rags so I don't get too much oil on my mat. So I have to clean it more often uh, and it will just help protect your firearm. So personally, when I'm stripping mine, because it's easy and it means there's less stuff to get oil all over, I would take the buttstock off the rifle. Obviously, your rifle should be clear anyway, but you'll, you'll cock the rifle. You've got a retaining pin on the back that goes from left to right. You push it from the left and you pull it out from the right. These are captive. Do not try and knock them out. They are not designed to come out. And then at the front, You've got another one. But first, what I like to do, I like to hold what should be a buffer tube, but the uh, tube at the back, I like to put my thumb on the charging handle and it just pushes open. And we get to the pin on the front, push it through from left to right. Once again, that is captive. Now a quick note, I personally like to clean the pins, um, but when you put this down, Put this down pin side up. You can, you can just push them back in to protect them. But as I said, I like to clean them, get the oil and the grime off them anyway. So just be mindful not to damage them. Put them pin side up. Well, very easy. That will just slide out. And there we have bolt out. This spring on the back, if you push it to the rear a little bit, there's a locking retainer, spring comes off. So if I try and show you up close, you have to push it back so that detent allows it to come out. And then you simply pull the guide rods away and the recoil rod assembly will come off. Last thing, recoil rod. And there you have a fully stripped, ready to clean 1522.